good for nothing. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Wait. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. The mirror only shows the present and nothing more. Let's check out what those books have to say. Hopefully we can find our lady. Can we still play with the cards? No, we can't. Hmm. Ah, great. What? I, I hate reading. Any of this shit. <laughs> I can help. Am I illiterate? Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. <laughs> oh, there's the woodsman. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone bless that thing? I only translate. What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animals shit gold. <laughs> oh my... <laughs> oh dear god. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. Hey, what's the difference? What's the scientific difference between a toad and a frog? I would really love it if someone told me. It's the like same thing with uh, alligators and crocodiles. I have no clue. So it's not, not Cinderella. This is the one. Ah. Where's this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlyro. I'll go look it up. Oh, Lyra? That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. What? She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> uh, we so got what we for came for. Happily ever yeah. after. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than Her name we... was Faith. Please don't. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Well, no, but we we still have to. But yeah, it's true though. We we can't rule Nothing it out. Nothing would surprise me at this point. Can't rule him out. But can we keep looking at the book? Oh, that 
That was the last page. All right. So before we move on away from this office, I kind of want to take a look at the Book of Fables. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Oh my god, is that Beast? Beast. <laughs> He's not that handsome. Beauty. Beauty and the Beast. Little Red Riding Hood. Hmm. I think her name was Red. Red. She didn't make it out. I'm guessing that's in reference to escaping from the homelands. I'm still not too sure what that is. Like, should I be looking something up? Like some background story regarding Red that? Riding Hood's knight in shabby armor. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. <laughs> hey, it's me! And there's me. Not a good day. And there's my person of interest. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. You pretty girl. Yeah. Dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Whoa, they, they look a lot eviler than I have seen them depicted before. <laughs> oh, Colin? Colin and his brothers. King. Yeah, that's her, all right. A long time ago. Wait, who are we looking at? Her? Oh, donkey skin? Faith? Oh, that's like uh, the dad and the mom. I see. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. <laughs> Do you want that spot? Yeah, I'm still not familiar with this, but looks like he's being chased by a headless... Hey, is that the... that looks a lot like the... Oh, what is that thing called? That Headless Horseman from the TF2 Halloween update. Probably based off the same thing. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. So people like the Badger would have to live on the farm, right? Because they don't exactly look human at all, unlike, you know, some of the actual humans here. Nice hat. So for us, do we actually normally have a human form or... Because I don't think we're using a glamour right now, are we? Things we'll have to find out and discover as we move along the story, I guess. So that's it for... Oh, can I see that? Nope. That's it for looking at the books. I only saw two books, even though he got three. But I think we can probably use that information on the mirror now. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? He didn't even care. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What? Is he dead? What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Dead. I guess that crosses him off the suspect list. That's so morbid. So if you have someone who died a long time ago, the mirror can still show them, but you might be like 10 feet underground or something after being buried. Show me... Do it. Show me Faith. I don't think we need this. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bimby. It's simply the way this has to be. So that's really interesting because we just saw Faith's father and he's dead. And we could see him, but we can't see Faith for some reason, so... Something is wrong with that. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodlands Business Office. Yes, I. I like how she yes. has a phone voice, Hold a on. business voice. Bigby, it's for you. 
Oh. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Let's go, let's go. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Oh, do we get to pick where to go? Oh, that's hard. That's hard. Or we could just not get to pick. That's fine too. <laughs> that would have been an interesting Did choice, Toad though. Did Toad see who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help too. Well, where to oh, first? Oh shit! No, we do have to choose. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. I kind of feel like, based off what we saw at Prince Lawrence's apartment, he wasn't even moving and there was a bloody knife next to him, so... Is he... dead already? Like, would it be something like he found out that Faith died, so he... followed? I don't know. Meanwhile, we know that me, Toad. Big B, shit. Listen, right? That's a bloke. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? I think I'm gonna choose Love to go to Toad's. Toad. Just because that Big person B, who's shit. going through the woodsman's right? things That's could be suspicious as well, so he could be fairly, worry, Big B, could very well be the one who did it. So. Hang on. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence. After. Okay. Not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Hey, that's cool. They have the street name engraved on the curb. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse than a day. Is somebody up there? Don't say anything. Don't alarm him. What the heck? He got alarmed anyway! Oh, come on. Where could Shit. he have gone? He had to go downstairs, didn't he? Enough, all right? Just shut it. <laughs> it's probably his kid. I don't even remember half of this shit. Colin doesn't make this much of a mess. <laughs> I heard that pigs are actually really conscious about being clean and stuff, so not a surprise that Colin would be neater. What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? A really big asshole? Hey, the bay is gone. It's not there anymore. Woodsman never did much reading anyway. That red, the pink thing on the ground. Feels like I can pick it up because it kind of stood out for a second, but I guess not. Uh, so we can leave now. Dude, is he like beating his son? Yes. That is son? Toads? I think. 
be nice in there, okay? Don't worry, man. I'm good with kids. Let's talk to him first. Hey, Toad. You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. <laughs> Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. It wasn't, though. No. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, no, there you know, was a person up there. Alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? He's hiding something. Are you alright? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. I'll leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. What kind of shirt is the son wearing? <sighs> Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... <laughs> You're not good at this. Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. I don't know what that means. Oh, he's so tiny. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Alright, Toad, what you hiding here? Your lock's busted. Eh? The lock. Someone broke in. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. You better stop lying to me. Look at your shifty eyes. And the lamps broke too. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. You know, with this place, it's like living on a foundation of termites, it is. All so cheap it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. So at the moment, it seems like Toad called us, not knowing who was upstairs, but when he discovered who it was, he realized that he couldn't tell us about it and he had to hide it. Look at the blood! You bleeding? Why? Is that it's blood? Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. I mean, we saw that there was no way to get out of this place, so... Is he in this place? The person that we're looking for that was upstairs? Yeah, it's an awful mess. Forgot where I kept my, uh, first aid. Look, you want me out of here, I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. I mean, all this has to do with... For some reason, Toad's son is crying about it too, so... That comes into play somehow. That... more blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. The lamp? Did you move something? Ah. Oh. Maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? It's a lamp. A 
if you're gonna say something, out with it. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I it. did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Hmm, that swing might have caused that blood stain there. Ooh, oh, never mind, it's this th Fireplace poker. Could do a better job dusting, or no? <laughs> oh my god, oh, are you still happened? trying? What happened? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Oh, I was, I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Look like a shit ugly thing. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Wade, you dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Hmm. Feel like if we can catch him in one more lie, that should be enough. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? Do you have a good track record? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- and you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. The son could just be frightened because he witnessed something scary. I mean, he doesn't have to be involved with everything. Ah, maybe they escaped. Maybe they escaped through here. <laughs> okay. Oh, scratch marks. Let me get out. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, I- No, there's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No you can't say that's you, reason. okay? Because you don't even have claws. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plumb forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. The new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? Came in through the door, left through the window? Junior was home. Why didn't he let you in? It was the middle of a sodding night, Big B. I'm supposed to wake him because his jammy daddy didn't remember to check his pockets. Big B, come on. I'm begging mm. for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please... Please, just bugger off. Not yet. Not yet? You say to my face that you think I'm hiding something from you. Yes. I've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? Whenever I like. I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When I say so, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me. I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Oh! Mr. Toad, you're bleeding.
Take off the hat. Oh my god. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bowels to the coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Babe. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Is that where they hide their shit? Hmm, the donkey skin. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. A lot less glamorous than what the Wait. storybook made it. Look. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Oh. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? No, we should open it. Investigation. Don't make it a dilemma. It is sealed, and... Like, he'll know we've opened it, but, I mean, I'm we're the sorry. police. Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. I didn't get to talk to them at the door. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When he put it that way. Hey, come on, the glass is half full. 